Welcome to Transport Fever 2 folks, I'm an Unreal Gamer, or NOG for short, and today we are doing a little uh, giveaway of a copy of Transport Fever 2, 100% free, and to learn more about that, you, I'll get into it uh, later in the video, but don't forget, you can get a free copy of Transport Fever 2 during this video, or the competition is in this video, and the winner will be announced on Saturday, the 4th of January, 2020. So let's jump into a game. We're going to go with a large map, one-to-one, -one, medium towns and low industries. And that's simply because if you set that up to medium industries, you can barely get your, uh, your trains through because there are so many of them. We're going to go up with a seed called Nerdy. And I guess that is what our map is going to look like. So yeah, that's our map. So let's continue. And we're going with the tropical uh, terrain or tropical scenery, because that is new to Transport Fever 2. Now, we are starting in 1850, difficulty easy. We'll be going with Asian trains. I have enabled industry tycoon here but uh, if we do like that then so we need to cut do custom settings and install the mod mod industry tycoon 2 so we are going to activate that and that's because i want to be able to place industries where i want them i really would like to be able to delete industries again uh, also but for some reason, I just can't uh, do that. I can put down new ones, but I can't bulldoze existing ones, which is a little bit annoying. But we are going to go with this, so let's go ahead and start and see what we have to work with. Rightio, here is our map. And I've had a quick look around to see what we are going to do. And I think what we're going to start out with is probably a train line from this oil well over to this oil refinery and back to this fuel refinery and then we'll have trucks or carts that delivering it to Shanghai so that should be a pretty profitable route I think now oh, let's uh, pause the game because we don't want to be spending money that we don't need to spend because we only have so much of it so i'm gonna set a rule that i cannot hook cargo up to anything unless it's part of our main passenger transportation line so the first thing we need to do is set up a passenger line between peshawar and shanghai and we're just going to do that with uh, with troikas uh, or uh, yeah stagecoaches so we're going to set that up now we will of course want passenger trains later but to start off with we can go with a single uh, stagecoach la coach line here so let's stick in a stagecoach line where do we want it let's uh, let's have a look at this so we want it over in this area somewhere. So let's put it in here. And then up in Peshawar, we'll do the same. Let's have a look. Where do we want it? We want it down in this area. So let's, let's put it in right here. There we go. All right, then we need a road depot, which we have here, and we'll stick that in. Oh, I didn't want to raise it. I wanted to turn it. Stick in the depot right here. Next, set up a line from there to there. And that's basically it. So let's put 
put some vehicles on that line. Uh, we will, well, let's just rename it first. So this is Pez, uh, Shang, 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 uh, Coach. And let's put some road vehicles on that. Uh, so Trikas, I think we'll start with 10. Let's start with 5 and then we can put another 5 on later. Why can't I buy those? There we go. And we'll set you to Pesja Coach. Alright. Now next, actually... Let's just borrow everything we can because we're going to need it and we are going to stop time from moving forward and just play the game on on uh, let's say medium speed so that our stage coaches here they can start making a bit of money for us. Let's have a quick look at one of them. There they are. Pretty horses pulling a troika. And yeah, we have our first line. Very good. So, five is definitely not going to be enough. We're going to need uh, at least five more. But we'll let these get going a little bit and then we will buy those. So, next, we want to hook up this oil well and send it over to this oil refinery. For that, we're definitely going to be using trains. So we want a hmm, we want a cargo terminus, don't we? I think. Hmm. Let's make it 320 meters long. It's going to need to be that long anyway. And we could hook it up here. That seems pretty good to me. And we are going to need a bit of road coming down like that. So now you should be reaching that. Yes. And we just need one platform here. Then we have this one here. We also just need one platform, really. Well, maybe not, because we might want to send more oil from some of the other oil wells in here. Hmm. Let's put in a cargo station. Actually, can we... No. I was thinking if we could get both cargo and passengers on the same station, but we can't really here. So, let's... Turn this around and maybe have it something like that, I think. Yeah. Because we need to go up here as well. And up here, well, we need a cargo terminus. So we'll stick it up here. Now, if the screen is jumping around a bit, I do apologize. I have tried everything that I can to make it do it as little as possible, but it just insists on being a little bit jumpy. Uh, but hopefully we can live with that. It's mainly when I have a a station or something on my cursor and I start moving around the map then it's it gets a little bit let's say nervous <laughs> and we'll do that now this was a main connection that we just destroyed so we're going to have to put that in again but I want the tracks coming out now I actually want to configure this a little bit and stick another set of tracks over here. The 
because we're just going to pass it by on the way out from here, right? So let's try and get our tracks out. Ouch. That's a little bit... That's nasty. Hmm. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, really. That's great. Uh, we're going to need... Let's see, we're driving on the right-hand side, so we want to come out here. Something like that. And there we go. So I actually want this. Hmm. All right, fine. We'll figure it out. We want. Whoa. Now I have my speeds and so on set up in uh, kilometers because I'm Danish and we use kilometers but of course you can set it up to be yeah well whatever you want really uh, well no you, you can do miles and you can do kilometers I think wow that's not pretty here we actually need to come out straight a bit. A bit more. There. Because we're going to need a crossing here. Or a, a switch as it's called in train lingo I think. And that means that this is going to be absolutely horrendous speeds, isn't it? Yeah. But we're going to have to take this back quite a bit. Something like that. Maybe just accept that we only do 110 or something on that stretch. And I think that's perfectly acceptable. Now, if we just pull it into here, it looks pretty good. We're down to 88, but this is what it is. Maybe we can come over a tad here. Well, I really don't want to cut into this too much. We with the N key no. Alright, we'll take that. So there's the first part of our line. From the oil well and over here. And then we need to get it going up and over here. And I think we're going to have to put a bridge across here. This turn is going to be awful, isn't it? So, we come up out like that. Can we put in a switch here? Like that. We can. Beautiful. Okay, now here. Two point four million. Are you crazy? Can't afford that. All right, so we're not building a bridge. We are going to cut this road and come through.
Fair enough. So, I don't want to delete that much road. Just do like this. Then we can bulldoze this bit. Let's pause. And we'll build a road across here as well. And bulldoze that bit. Now, where are our... There's a troika there and there. And then there are three up here. So let's buy vehicles. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There and set you on the pes pesca coat. What? Unable to find path? Oh, I cut it. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's get this line laid and or this track laid. And we will fix that up so that our Boikas can can get past again. Alright. Now can we just hook into here? We can. So we'll do that. And I'm guessing this won't go over there, nope. But it doesn't really need to. So we can just pull those back because we hooked it in there. Okay dokie. Now Getting the track around here. It's going to be difficult. Actually, let's do the other side first. I can live with that. And then we need to come over to there. All right. So 120. And then we can more or less go straight for a bit, I think. Where is it? There. So we need to cross the road. I think if we come out here, that'll be good. And then let's see. Not quite, not quite. And that should do it. Is it the best laid track in the world? Probably not. But it'll do for now. It'll do for now. So. Okay. Now, you're obviously going to need to put a train on here. Well, a couple of trains actually. But first we need some signals. Because without signals, it's just no good. So we're coming out there. Put in there. Come on, let me put in the signals real quick and I'll be back. All right, so we are all signaled up. I have put in a depot here, depot, or however you want to say it, depends on where you're from, I guess. And this depot needs, we need to put some trains on here, but before we get started on all that, now this competition, in order to participate you need to, first of all, uh, subscribe to the channel. You need to like this video. And you need to make a comment on the video. And it can't be a comment like pick me or something like that. It needs to be related to the game or to the video or something like that. Now, on Saturday the 4th, the winner will be announced. And... I'll announce it in the video on the 4th uh, and I will also of course put it in the comments both in the video on the 4th and in this video when we have a winner. So this is a celebration of 
uh, first of all, the channel reaching 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. It really motivates rates me that uh, you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And second, it's of course a celebration that Transport Fever 2 has come out. So that's pretty cool. And of course, it's Christmas, it's New Year. So it's a, call it a Christmas present. Uh, from me maybe for whoever gets the free copy so yeah i'll put all the information about the con contest or competition or giveaway in the description as well so go down there and take a look and you need as i said you need to subscribe to the channel like the video make a comment and take a screenshot of it and send it to my email which is uh, nerd at nerdyoldgamer.com and i'll put that down in the description as well and then my wonderful girlfriend she will pick who wins a copy of transport fever 2 right so that's that let's get back into building here we i hooked up the road as well i think i did that actually before uh, and let's go ahead and run the game on and now we need some trains actually before we get trains we need lines we need a new line, and that's going to be, uh, let's call it Shanghai and crude oil and fuel. Okay, donkey. So here we want at the train depot, actually. We have the train depot, buy some vehicles. We only have the Russian class V type 1, so we'll do that. And we'll put four cars on because that puts it at mediocre. If we add one more, it'll go down to poor, and we don't want that. So we'll leave it at mediocre. And we'll buy one of these for now and set it on our new line. So that should get the train going. What? Didn't I set it on the line? Oh, I didn't put any. I wouldn't. It didn't put any stops on the line. That'll help. So we'll have a stop there. Um, line manager there. Add a station. We'll add that one. But add station. That one. To there. To there and then back again so there we go and is our train off it is beautiful now we need to get fuel delivered from here and down to Shanghai now where is this it's over here mainly we want a truck drop off uh, one of those down here somewhere probably let's put it here and then we need a truck station up here let's just come down here and make sure we put that in the way we want it uh, that looks straight to me Like that and i think we're going to configure this and put some extra cargo on here because there's probably going to be a need for it and we need a road depot let's just stick it let's put it over here next to the to this Station actually, the truck stop. So I should have put the stop a little bit further back, but it'll be fine. There we go. And we need a new line from there to there. And then we want two, five vehicles, Asian 
horse-drawn carriages, which can carry four uh, oil or four fuel, and it can carry all cargo types. So we will get, let's get four for now, and set them on line one, which I really, really need to rename. So we will call that Shanghai Fuel. All right, all done. Now, how are we looking for passengers here? We have 20 passengers waiting there. We have 20 passengers waiting there. So I think let's buy... Which vehicle is this? It's a, it's a Troika, isn't it? Right, let's sell those two and let's see we want the line manager we have one two three four five six seven so we want at least three more and I think let's do five more And set you on this coach. All right. Now, are we producing oil down here? We most definitely are. We have quite a lot of oil waiting. And that means we need another train. Now, you have made oil there, yes. But you are coming back empty, aren't you? Now you have one oil, which will be delivered here, turned into fuel, and then delivered down there very good let's actually let's uh, let's just clone the train that we already have there you clone and there we go another train on the line so you're gonna stop down here let's actually have a look at this line so yeah, it's this is no good. This is no good. We want the drop off to be at terminal two, like that. Because now the line looks good, right? It looks good all the way perfect okie dokie so now we have two trains here and to be honest I think we want the third maybe not just yet let's get let this train get into the station then we'll buy a third train actually I'll stop you a second let you get a little bit further away maybe up to this station And then we can come on. Right, let's clone and let's start you again. I think I'll rename this station to Chongqing. Oil well. Yeah. All right, so that's three trains on this. I think we want one more. How much demand does Shanghai have? 65. Not that much, but Shanghai will, will be growing now. Um, 
Where do I want this next train? I think right about now. And I want the line manager. You, you, clone. All right. That leaves us with basically no money. Well, a million, because this train just come in. Uh, how much are you making? 309,000. Let's have a look and see how much a train makes when it comes in here. We picked up 14 oil. You're brand new, right? Yeah. You definitely have crude. Uh, it's a little bit empty down here. Trains, but it is what it is. I like them to spread out a bit more. In Transport Fever 1, they did that on their own, kind of. I, I don't know if they do that in Transport Fever 2. I hope so. Alright, let's see how much you make delivering 28 crude to this station. And you have 11 oil waiting. Let's see. 460,000. That's pretty good. And you picked up 14 oil. So we need this to up its production. But it will eventually. Alrighty, we have our very first couple of lines stagecoach and oil delivery. Let's see how many passengers are waiting 22, 16. We're probably gonna need a couple more on this coach line. We could set up Chung King coach line as well, but I think I'll, I'd rather do trains. I think I'd rather do trains. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather do trains. We have a million in the bank now. Here comes another 460,000. So 1.5 so we're making uh, we're making money we're, we're not making money yet per se but we, we are we, we just spent a lot of money so we are going to be making a profit this year or this period because the years aren't going right now of course because we want a bit of time with all the old stuff all the steam trains and stuff before we let time progress. Now we still pay interest on our loans and pay maintenance fees and so on. So you can see there comes maintenance going up and I actually want to turn that off. So I want, don't want that. Uh, we can, we could turn off all of this. It makes it a little bit cleaner. But I'd like to see stations and stops. And towns, at least. Okay. Very good. We have 19 people waiting. We have 10 people waiting. Seems like the frequency of our troikas is okay. Let's see how many passengers do they have. They're actually running full. So... That line is making a, a decent profit, 75,000. But the Shanghai crude and fuel, crude oil and fuel, 1.2 million so far in the last 12 months. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And the Shanghai fuel is actually making money as well. So very, very nice. How much fuel is waiting over here? 13. And where are the trucks? One on its way up there, there's one on its way up there. Where's the train? Let's put trains on. There's a train with 13. So we might need to put a few more trucks on here. But Shanghai is now 
growing plus 40 percent uh, there is a bit of emission minus 10 percent but that's not too bad uh, that's noise pollution and uh, i guess when we get vehicles or uh, motor vehicles with it'll be pollution and stuff like that but because we're delivering uh, fuel we get a plus 30 percent growth rate of the town and then they have some connections to other towns uh, by private transportation plus 20 percent there and then public transportation they have 75 destinations i don't know how that works uh, but that's plus 10 percent so pretty good pretty good but that is all we have time for in this episode, guys. So don't forget, you can get a free copy of Transport Fever 2. One lucky person will get a free copy of Transport Fever 2. And that will be announced on Friday, or so, sorry, Saturday the 4th of January 2020. Take a look in the description to find out how, if you missed that. And yeah. That is it for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.